All right, so we're showing some of the names that got us from 10 to 20,000. Do you believe these same names or the same theme at least is going to get us up to 30,000? You know, Frank, I think this theme is a, a solid theme. These are great companies. But I really do think that this is a market that's going to broaden out beyond the, just those names. And the reason I say that, Frank, is if you look at when this bull market started, which was October 12th to 22, you actually will see that the 50 best performing names in the S&P 500, only two of them were the MAG7. That was NVIDIA and that was Meta. There were a lot of other stocks that also helped. And there were a lot of industrial companies that helped push the market higher also beyond just these MAG7 companies. All right. Fair enough. Um I want to get back to one of those names that got us from 10 to 20,000. Tesla, you just saw right now, up over 480% over that time. Recently, we've seen a bit of a surge in the MAG7, but it's really been Tesla showing a lot of leadership. NVIDIA has kind of been a laggard. When we're looking at that basket of stocks, again, going forward, are you still bullish on those names? Do you still see a lot of opportunities there? Well, in terms of the basket of the MAG-7, again, I think these are going to be great companies. I think there is still some upside to those companies, which I think is going to help the market continue to keep working its way higher. I just think that if you're trying to find the fastest race car here on the track, I'm not sure that you're going to get the best relative outperformance, technically speaking, Frank, uh, from those names as you are going to get from other names such as Twilio and other more mid and small cap names that to me are setting themselves up for significant moves higher. And keep in mind, Frank, um, Powell Industries, ticker POWL, over the same period of time off of those October 22 lows, actually out in, outperformed NVIDIA. So again, it's, it's going to broaden out, and I'm seeing that all across the board from a technical perspective. And really, the inflection point since July of 2024, we really have seen small mid-cap stocks outperform. And that'll be a theme I think you're going to hear more about in 2025. Uh, by the way, we're talking about themes right now. You know, we're kind of talking about that AI theme. Something else I got to ask you about, Craig, this quantum computing thing. Uh, we actually had Sylvia, Sylvia Jablonski um, from Define CTF. She's on the show back in March. She actually, her pick was in the quantum computing space we're going to talk to her about that in a bit. But if you're looking at quantum computing, do you believe that's going to be a driver for the market going forward? Or is this just a temporary craze that's kind of sweeping Wall Street, people really interested in it after that alphabet news? You know, I think Alphabet has proven that this quantum computing is real. And uh, some of the bigger plays on this, at least the two biggest ones that I would say would obviously be Alphabet. The second one is going to be IBM. And I think those are two of the larger cap plays that I think a lot of investors can participate in that quantum computing. But keep in mind, it's going to take a number of years before they can really start to deploy those quantum chips in a much bigger way. I'd say at least five years away before that really starts to happen. All right, Craig, you did come to us with a pick. You just mentioned it, Twilio, uh, kind of in the uh, communication services business. They kind of empower, you know, text messages and things like that. Why are you bullish on that name right now? It's, uh, as you mentioned, kind of in that mid cap, small mid cap area. What opportunities are you seeing that? Is that a, a possible new administration play? I mean, why right now? Well, a couple of things, Frank, is when I go through and I look at all the charts across the market, I'm looking for the best opportunities out there. And when you come back and you look at a weekly chart on Twilio going back in time, this is a stock that has well off of its highs. It's starting to look like a pretty meaningful turnaround. Management typically is quite conservative, according to our fundamental analysts. And it seems like there's a turnaround play here. When I look at just a pure sort of measured objective of where I think Twilio could go, I see upside about 187 based upon the charts. I think that's going to be a stock that's probably going to outperform a lot of the MAG-7 stocks looking forward over the next 12 months.